Testing, testing, hot out, brown car. One, two, three, four. Are you ready? I'm all ready. You on here? Come on, let's go inside and get started. Dusty out in that hall. Hey, get a load of fat go there. Oh, would I like to pelt you just once? <laughs> Dusty out in that hall. What's my temperature, Norton? Oh, come on, let's get moving. Isn't there any lot here? Yeah, about 300 pounds. A 20% percentage. And now, who is our next guest, please? Herb, here's our next guest. Humma, 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 humma. Ed Norton. Ha, ha. Watch this. The Honeymooners Podcast, the only podcast that is all about the greatest show of all time, with the stars, Joe Conti and Louis Fax. If they ever institute a nut of the month club, I've got a very good idea who's going to be January and February. Welcome, fellow raccoons and members of the Women's Auxiliary. What's happening, all you Hurricanes, Bensonhurst Bombers, and all you Millie Davises of the world? You are listening to the Honeymooners Podcast with me, Joe Conti, and my pal, Louis Fats. Cramden, this appetizer has possibilities. <laughs> if it's handled right, it could be a big thing. Now, tell me, is this your wife's exclusive recipe, or could there be someone else involved, like, like her mother? You went. You went. You went back to. Oh, I got to go back, back to, to Marshall. Well, right? You I, went back to Marshall. I go back to Marshall. <laughs> I do Marshall every week. <laughs> the only podcast all about the greatest show of all time. We record in the non-productive studios at three twenty-eight Chauncey Street in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, also known as Clifton, Clifton New, New Jersey. Jersey. Subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcasts, and if you're on iTunes, give us a five-star rating and leave a positive review because we will read them on the air. Yes, our home base, the website where you can go to and listen to any of the episodes is non-productive.com slash honeymooners. Don't forget to like our Honeymooners podcast Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. And don't forget to support us through our Patreon. That you can go to like uh, any of the episodes, scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you can help us out. You know, sure. maybe just... Uh, I suppose I can put you down for the usual buck. Yeah, if you're a little bit on the cheap side, side or you know, if you want to go a little bit up. you know, hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, you want to throw us a hundred bucks? How about it? hundred dollars. Sure, we'll take it. Sure, you can take the clicking out of our phone, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And if you want to leave us a voicemail, call 240-442-2635. And don't forget to email us at Honeymooners podcast at aol.com aren't they ancient we sure <laughs> are we sure are <laughs> what's going on lou oh joe number 96 yes we have a 96 here good one. Oh, we do cortez kennedy was he on detroit seattle that's right a defensive lineman yes. well, he's uh yeah. that's eight, right eight time pro bowler wow hall of famer I think he had a 10-year career, so he was eight times Pro Bowl in a 10-year guy. I think wow. he was all with Seattle. I'm not 100% wow. sure. Very good. That's a good one. Because I don't do I as much research it. as I used to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's in 96 episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm L- like winging it. Louis uh, research. Like, yeah. When I said, did you do any research for the episode? He goes, yeah, yeah. Looked up Cortez Kennedy. Cortez Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> How many to choose from? From number ninety six. <laughs> yes, exactly. Joe, you want to just get back real quick? Um, yes. When I did my opening with Mister Marshall, right? You always the funniest thing about that is the is, the is everything. Follow-up, yeah, yeah, everything. Right. Everything. But the follow up line of Ralph, my mother in law, she's a nice lady. I'm like what? <laughs> she's a nice <laughs> lady. <laughs> Again, like yeah. when he talks about uh, uh, Trixie. Yeah. Yeah, Trixie, she's a, she's a nice lady. Yeah, she's a nice lady. But I'm saying, you're talking about your mother. Yeah, but Trixie mother. is a night lady, nice but lady. She, she also is, you know, his wife's best friend. He's known for 15 yeah. years. But I'm saying, but she is a nice lady. Right. I'm saying, call oh. his mother-in-law. That's what I'm saying. He's called his mother. She's a, my mother's a nice lady and everything. No, no she's, she's not. not. She's you know, the complete witch. opposite of yeah. the uh, nice, nice lady. lady. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Did not think of that <laughs> aspect of it. Uh, so, um, nice. Uh, bef- look, 96... Uh, we took a week off. We yeah. didn't uh, come in, and uh, 
Before we get started, we want to talk about our wonderful, stupendous, colossal sponsor. Yes. And that is Silk City Hot Sauce. Yeah. Okay? What you got to do is you got to go to SilkCityHotSauce.com, get yourself some great hot sauce, right? You go and you purchase. And then when you get to the checkout counter, and first of all, the 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 sauces you can get you have like badass Jew which yeah, Lou like likes. Aztec uh, attack. I am done with slurp. I have to get new. Oh, I have to get more. It. I finish right. it. I still have a little bit of mango madness left. Okay. Somebody keeps sneaking some of the um, one of the hotter sauces, okay. and it ain't me. Ain't you. It's my stepson okay. for sure. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> it ain't the dog. I know it's not. Gleason. <laughs> I'm not Gleason. <laughs> He's too busy He's laying on a couch. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, so what you do is you go in there and purchase all of the, the great hot sauces, yep. right? He's got mm-hmm. all these different packages you can get. And then when you get to the checkout counter, right? I used to think it was in the right-hand corner. That's how much I actually have to purchase. <coughs> we get it for free. Um, <laughs> but right in the center, there's a little thing for a little coupon code. And what you do is you put Rx. <laughs> in the coupon code Very- and you get yourself 15% percentage off of your order and you get a free bottle of uh, comp- uh, 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 cherry sriracha i'm sorry sir i couldn't think of the word <laughs> i you know what we could just go now. I, I, we could just, just go I, we, you know what i mean we did it i we look, did it i look forward to that <laughs> i know now now week. i'm just like all right we're just gonna go run through the motions get through the end of the episode between and between doing mr marshall in my opening yeah. and cherry sriracha <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Everything. I, I can't get any funnier than that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's great. I mean, the, it's 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 a great product, all of them. And here's the cool thing. For any of you that didn't see, um, our pal Kingfish Levinsky, he is now in the midst of creating yep. the Honeymooners hot sauce. Hot sauce, yeah. And it's called the Beam, Honey honey, uh, honey, honey ha- Habanero. Ha- ha- yeah, yeah. Hab- and, yeah. And I think uh, I actually told him, I said, you should put like it's humana humana honey licious, honey, yeah. like honey licious yeah. or something. And he loves it. Right. Uh, but the best part is I put it out on our page like like a week ago. Yeah. And, and Ira. Of course. Ira. <laughs> of course. Our resident wordsmith. Our, yeah. Ira. Well, he was I, in the advertising business, so he, yes. you know, he's, he's, he looks yes. at things like this. Absolutely. And he was like, hey, this looks good. Uh, here's the problem. And then he listed like four things, things that right. were spelled wrong. <laughs> Habanero was spelled wrong. Habanero spelled wrong, the thing that's on the front. And even some of the ingredients were yeah. spelled wrong. Yeah. And he also... And the pepper. And the he guy, also... They said, had the peppers red and habaneros are green. Right. But he, <laughs> it's funny because uh, Kingfish told me, he goes, yeah, we're keeping the red one because it looks cool. Let's go. <laughs> he goes, I know it's not the same one, but I don't care. But he was like, tell Mr. Ira that uh, we would like to, I would like to send him a free bottle when we get oh, it. There you go. And Ira was like, nah, I'd just rather buy it. Yeah. He, oh. Yeah. Great so guy. That's yeah, nice. Absolutely. We'll go another week. But yeah, so, so Ira, <laughs> Ira put his two cents in. And <laughs> he got a free bottle. Isn't it crazy? What Ira does, he like berates you, but he kind of berates you and then helps you out at the and same yeah, time. <laughs> He helps you out he and berates, berates you, you in a at the sweet same way. Time. Yes. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, we're used to him, so these other people. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely hilarious. Um, so, uh, what we want to do first before we get started, because we got to do our full, you know, we're, we're behind. You yeah, know? we are a little behind. bit behind. behind. So, we want to do our full grown nut of the week. Um, but first, we're going to do is play our full grown nut from last week. Okay. And. Here's the thing about this. It was, this was Richie the Mole, okay? And I just need to find it where I just put it out here. I don't understand where it went. Um, don't look at me. I can't help you out. Yeah, I know. I know. Aren't they ancient? Don't do that. Ending. Uh, no, hello. Uh, oh, okay. Here it is. Here, I'll go so, Richie the Mole, and we, we've we gotten really... Uh, Tight with Richie the Mole, like he sent us yeah. a book and a and all book, that. Yeah. We talk all the time with him on uh, through email, mm-hmm. and so he was full grown out of the week last week, and he sent us a message through email, and uh, it's for anybody that's even heard uh, of Richie the Mole or seen him posting or anything. This is not what I thought he sounded, sounded like. like. <laughs> you know how, like when you he- you know you talk with somebody yeah. online. You always have a, a way you think their voice yep. is going to be. Mm-hmm. And this is not what I thought Richie DeMoles is. Now, this is about two minutes, and uh, it's worth it. 
I enjoyed the whole two minutes of it, and here it is. Joe, Louie, certified none of the week committee members, let me begin by saying I am humbled, humbled to even be considered to be deemed worthy of such an honor as certified none of the week. Oh, how sweet it is. But tonight I want to speak of two other nuts, two unsung heroes of the Honeymooners podcast, Joe and Louie's wives. Oh, how many lonely nights have they spent waiting to hear the key turn in the lock? Oh, how many dinners have they kept warm for hours waiting for their men to return? By the way, Louie, this is the first time Louie's hearing this. Yeah, I, I, I know what Louie's thinking right, right away. Now, like, I'm not married. Every <laughs> I know it's the first thing Louie's saying. But anyway, go ahead. Here we go. I'll continue. I knew it. I, I didn't want Louie to know. <laughs> Louie's like, I'm not married. Right, All right, here we go. Are Joe and Louie out at a bowling alley, shooting pool, or guzzling, guzzling beer down at the lodge? No. While their wives sit home in silent solitude, <laughs> Joe and Louie can be found in the writer's room. I have come to believe the Honeymooners podcast is without question the best rehearsed and well-written podcast <laughs> available on the web. Imagine, my friends, Louie slumped over his IBM Selectric typewriter at midnight, pecking away with two fingers, fingers raw from endless hours of typing. Joe dutifully standing by with a paintbrush full of liquid paper, the rights, the rewrites, the rewrites of rewrites, and they've not yet begun to rehearse. Don't be fooled, my friends. There has never been a flub on the Honeymooners podcast. No. There's never been a mistake no. on the Honeymooners podcast. <laughs> yeah. What you hear are carefully crafted comedy bits, endlessly rehearsed. This commitment <laughs> is what makes Joe and Louie seem relatable. When they write a flub into a bit, it makes us feel better about ourselves. <laughs> it makes them relatable. Oh, ho, ho, they could edit out a flub. Because if Joey and Louie appear to be human... It helps us accept our own flawed human existence. <laughs> so I humbly raise a toast to the two women who make it all possible for their sacrifice, their lonely existence, their heartbreak is what makes us laugh. Without Mrs. Conte and Mrs. Fat, the careful crafting of the Honeymooners podcast would not be possible. Rx from Certified Nut of the Week, Richie the Mole. Richie the Mole. Richie the Mole. Unbelievable. I'm, he figured it out. Yeah. This is all yeah. rehearsed. Knew it. Every bit of this is yeah. all written down. I'm reading what I'm saying yeah. right now. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. yeah I'm reading <laughs> what I'm saying right now <laughs> about Richie DeBowl, about what he just did right it's like there. In 96 episodes. <laughs> To finally read something. Oh my God, that oh, was great! Richie, Thank you, was Richie, great, man. Richie. Absolutely. I, I see. Louis didn't hear this. I did, and I knew that that would make Louis just go, "Whoa, whoa wait, whoa, a wait a minute, oh, wait. <laughs> hey, whoa, wait, oh, wait, hey, oh, wait, oh, wait. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen. That was our last week's uh, full grown well, out of the week, week. and uh, you know what that means, kids. You know what that means. Verily, the Honeymooners podcast nights the full-grown nut of the week. Aren't you lucky? It gives me real pleasure to present to you this award... Michael Bruce. Bruce. Yes, Michael, Michael Bruce. Yeah. Michael, if you don't remember, Michael was the one that sent the, the great voicemail. Great, he's the king of the voicemail. <laughs> yes, yeah. and he's, he's got a, a, a great voice. He's yes. a musician. Yep. Uh, and uh, Mike is just great. Some of the stuff that he's uh, even, that we've made yep. on the air from him were just tremendous, funny. Right. He, play, um, he played Fred's Landing. That's right. How he, many, how many yeah. musicians could? How many <laughs> musicians do you say know? That. Yeah, yeah. So you ha yeah. Poo poo to uh, Madison Square, Square Garden. Garden. Forget about MetLife Stadium. That yeah, yeah. Fred's <laughs> Landing. All right. Michael Bruce's band played at Fred's Landing. <laughs> Yes, they only had one speaker. Yeah, it was yeah, only one speaker. Because somebody took the tubes out of the radio. Hey. 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 <laughs> Joe's okay now. Yeah. But, like, 
<laughs> yeah, the show's okay now, but last week it was in rough shape. It was in rough shape. <laughs> but yes, of course, Michael Bruce, man, we uh, we appreciate. Yes. It. Now, listen, I will be honest. It wasn't uh, a, a slam dunk, yeah. You know, because they've been getting in the beginning. The board of nuts were like, sure, 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 yep. sure. Mm-hmm. Now they want the, you know, they're looking for a little more, you know, criteria. Well, yeah, because you, they don't want to cheapen up this award. Exactly, and I, and I don't blame them one bit. They don't yeah. want this award to be cheap or just giving it out to people. No, 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 exactly. no, 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 no. So, um, what happened was Louis was telling me that they yeah. were thinking, you know what, they were kind of deadlocked. Well, yeah, I when I was in contact with the board of nuts, <laughs> and they were kind of deadlocked. Now, me and Joe, we have no vote. No, no, we have nothing to we do with this. We have nothing to do with it, right. so we can't. We just, you know, and I'm the contact man between the board of nuts. Right. So. <laughs> God's sake. They were deadlocked. <laughs> they were deadlocked. <laughs> right. So I said to him, well, how about if we give you Ira? To kind of, to uh, kind of break the deadlock. Right. And their response was, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess they didn't want to take a, ber- a berating, a beating. They, 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 so says, Give us a minute. We'll be right out. <laughs> and they came out with Michael Bruce. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we finally said, this has got to be the guy. Yeah. This has got to be the guy. And, uh, and you know what? He's joining a big group, you yeah. know? Yeah, growing. There's a lot of full-grown nuts around this house. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Growing. Yeah, and growing. And growing. And you know what they all have in common? What's that, Joe? I am uh, humble. They're all humble. humble. <laughs> They're all about being humble. Humbled. Exactly. And even Michael Bruce. It uh... it brings a tear <laughs> to my eye when he was and a lump <laughs> to my throat. <laughs> What made the judges pick me above all the rest? <laughs> we mentioned Irish name. That's <laughs> and, and, and don't do that. That's <laughs> so stupid. So stupid. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, we appreciate uh, Michael Bruce for being part of yes. it. You know, and oh. when when we and Louis oh. made the mistake of actually asking Ira, yeah. you know, we're like we're thinking of trying to find somebody to, yeah, like, you, you know, know, kind of it, make yeah. uh, break it to figure out who's going to win. Yeah. And Ira was like, like me, me, me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 anyway, congratulations, Michael. Michael, yes. congratulations. Uh, well, well deserved. Well deserved. And we totally, totally appreciate yes, it. We do. And um Speaking of voicemails, because yep. Michael was the one that, you know, he's done yeah. a couple of great voicemails to us. Excellent we had voice gotten a voicemail today. Yeah. And it was a guy doing a little little sketch was, for us. Yeah, yeah. And it was, it was I think it was pretty, pretty funny. Pretty good, yeah. Uh, he just never told us his name. Yeah, we don't know who it is. So the only thing I do know, it's a, it's in, it's a 516 area code. Okay. So it's a Long Island person. Mm-hmm. Okay. So whoever left the voicemail, you guys know what it is. All right? Whoever it is knows. Send us another one, or just send us one, or email us and let us know let that us know it who was you. Because yeah, yeah, so we we're credit. not going to play it. Yeah, no, we're not going to play it until we, until we, we give you give proper you credit. credit. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So, um, what we want to do is get to, excuse me, the show, and oh, we, we want to start out. Show, dude. We're going to start out with uh, something uh, from last week. Yes, and it's. Here we go. I haven't heard this in a while. Oh, it's a great one. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. <laughs> and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we are proud to present proud. Honeymooners <laughs> Podcast Revisited. All right. Yes. And that's my pal Dave Ingram, no, who's Dave. actually, he's out uh, touring in Europe right now oh, with, his, uh, with his band. So, okay. uh I'm um, hopefully uh, Dave is doing well. Yes, and uh, keep that voice oh, fresh. Yes, Dave. Have have some of that honey habanero oh, when honey it comes habanero. out. Keep that. Keep those, uh, those pipes. vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or else Lou will want nothing to do with you. you. <laughs> I want that voice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I do. I do. It would just be great. Um, so we want to get to we last week, le- the last episode. Yeah, last time we were here. I brought up the fact that I thought. That the line after "Hello Ball," yes, and we understand "Hello Ball" is iconic, iconic. and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But the the line of "What do you think is crazier, saying uh, "Tally Ho to a fox" or saying "Hello, uh, to, a hello to a golf ball"? Right? And we kind of were like, "Hmm, 
one thing about it, we wanted to know about jumping the gun. Jumping the gun. <laughs> we think Ralph Ralph may J- have jumped, jumped the, the gun, gun on it, on gun. and Art Carney, being the professional that he is, yeah. just continued his line. So let's. Uh, so you'll hear it. Yep. Now think of the Ralph jumping the gun, and we'll play the whole thing. And then we'll play it. After. Step up. Plant your feet, feet firmly. 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 <laughs> like that. Hello, boy. Who screams in the audience? Man. Screams. <laughs> Absolute screams. Take your phones off. Uh, Hello. Hello, boy. Will you get in the book and know. find out when it starts the swinging? Maybe it sounds nuts. I don't know. That's what they say in golf there. They say tally ho when they're fox hunting. What's crazier? Saying tally ho to a fox or saying hello to a golf ball? And then right after that, he says, go into the book, go into the book. and to start swinging. Start sw- but he said that already. He said that already. While Art Carney he was setting up, setting setting up, up his uh, tally ho thing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So what do you think? Do you think he yeah. jumped the gun? Um, I don't know. Let's go by maybe his uh, track record. <laughs> maybe, yeah. <Yes. laughs> Let's see. Do we think the guy who was the um, consummate uh, thespian who knew every line, or was it the guy who might have been pounding some beers Beer down. over at uh, Touch Shores, Shores, who had a photographic memory, memory, who maybe didn't really appreciate yeah. rehearsing as much? <laughs> and there's also in there, and we've touched on this before, when Ralph says to him, hello, ball. Right. Oliver Hardy. It's Oliver yeah, Hardy. You're right. Yes. It's, and he does a lot of that. It does a lot he of Oliver a, Hardy's. Look, he loved, so, a lot, so he loved uh, Oliver Hardy. Alan Hale Jr. from Gilligan's yeah. Island. Him and, and mm-hmm. he, he would do, he would look into the camera yeah. a lot. Gleason never did that. No, no. But he did a lot of, you know, I certainly do. I, certainly I mean, we could do, do an episode yeah, about I, I certainly, certainly do. do. So, yeah, I think you're 100% right. He definitely... That was and look, Oliver Hardy. Oliver Hardy probably influenced oh, my hundreds, God. thousands of comedians just in those... In, back in those days. days. Oh, my Absolutely. God. Phenomenal. So, I think you're. I think yeah. he. I think he jumped the gun. Oh, definitely jumped the gun. Because <laughs> then he says the same line after he finishes. Yes, exactly. Something about the book, like um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yes. what's to say in the book or something like that. Yes, exactly. About the swing. About the swing. It was like. <laughs> yes. Oh God. Okay. Well, I I agree. I'm definitely down with that. Okay. So now we want to get into uh, a thing that I noticed about a matter of life and death. Okay. okay. And we all know that was with the with the dog mm-hmm. when they thought he thought he was going to die. Right. And in the very beginning, it's first Alice and Trixie. The scene starts. The episode starts with them two. Right. Uh, I think Trixie comes in, mm-hmm. and they're talking about Ginger the dog. Ginger the dog. And yeah. don't tell Ralph. We spent ten dollars, yeah, three dollars yeah, for Ralph. Ralph yeah. Then Ralph and Ed come in, and I noticed this. There is. Like a twenty second applause, like you would think they were standing up. Yeah. Twenty seconds, it's Joe. 20. That's like you're sitting at a traffic light for twenty seconds, and it seems like you're An there for yes. Like if you ask people how long do most like traffic lights are, like, three minutes, three, three minutes. minutes. No, no, it's, it's not. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds, thirty. <laughs> it's, if it's thirty, 30 seconds it's, or I forty, mean, yeah. you're you're, you're yeah. screaming oh, and God. beeping yeah. the horn. Yeah, and I didn't realize it. And then one day I'm like, this is a long. And this is the one where you were just like, because then now they focus on Art and, you know, uh, Ra- uh, Ed and Trixie. Mm-hmm. And he does the yeah, joke. Yeah, doing a you joke, know, you know. And don't I get anything? Don't I get- and you always said, I wonder what Gleason and, and Audrey were, were doing, doing off screen. screen. But during that whole time, they're still clapping, clapping. and applauding. So I want I want you guys to hear it and hear how egregious this is and not in a negative way yeah let's <laughs> see how long 20 seconds 20 seconds is. is here we go well oh no you know just the regular check oh yeah oh hi honey okay should be done whistling no nope, not done nope it's still whistling uh maybe it should be done no no not yet whistling again <laughs> What's the matter with me, Trixie? Don't I get and nothing? And there you I'm go. I'm too tired. How do you like that? I've been working down the sewer all day long, and she's tired. That's another reason. Very <laughs> 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 Save your jokes for the butcher. Okay, so there's two things here. 
did you did you take did you take notice on how long of an applause yeah. break that yes. is? And I and I think Louie agreed with me. I think it's because you had Audrey and Joyce there already there, and then they're, you have, they're established on the stage. They're established there, and then you have Ralph and Ed walking in at the same time, right? Starting the episode, episode yep. And I think they were just it, just it was kind of like it was kind of like. Um, 10 seconds for Ralph, 10 seconds for Ed. <laughs> and they just combined it, and it came out the 20 seconds. <laughs> if I, my math is correct. And it came out the 20 seconds. But it's how many times have they ever walked on stage together? The I, only, I, right away, I'm thinking of when they came in with the pizza. Mm-hmm. That's one. Yeah. Um, but that, I don't know. Yeah, but that was already, this is the opening scene. Yeah. That's so that's what's thing. different. Because you're not going to, I mean, in the, middle of, in, yeah, the middle of the, in the middle of the, in the middle of the skit, you, it, it, they're already established. They're already right. there. We've already applauded for them and blah, yeah. blah, blah. So well, this they, is, they do do that once. Yeah. When they came in one time. And, and second, it was weird. It was like a weird thing. It was like the second scene. Maybe the second act. And they clapped for, yeah. yeah, they clapped for them again. But not yeah. like this. this. Oh, this is, this is like they're just greeting them and coming onto the stage together. Yes. And I was like... And, and in fact, you have all four of them at once yep. in the beginning of the episode, yep. in the first scene. Yep. And I don't know if that's ever happened in the original 39. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I don't know. And I, like I said, I don't research things anymore, so... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He just researches <laughs> Monaghan. Uh, yeah, like that's, that's all I do. Yeah, I just look up Mr. Mar- Mr. Mar- Mr. Marshall lines <laughs> and I just write them <laughs> <Yeah>. down. <laughs> but... I, I think it's exactly what you said. You had two of the main characters on there. Mm-hmm. It's getting, you know, they're setting up the episode. They're talking about the dog. People don't really understand what's going on. And then here come the other two. They're all four there, and they got swept away. In well, can you imagine if you're in the audience and all of a sudden, you know, I mean, obviously we know because we've seen it a thousand times. The door opens, and they both walk out. And you're in the audience like, oh, my God. Right. There you, they don't, are you, both, don't, you don't know, know that you're going to see them all, but just to see them yeah, coming together. at together. You're like, you know, maybe one walks in, and yeah. later another and one, the, other one, you know, the other one comes in. But yeah. there they walked in together. That's probably that was the audience's reaction. Like, oh, my God, here they are, both of them. Genuine. Yeah. Genuine. Yeah, there, there was nobody with the – there was no, no applause, they're, they're, they're applause line. Up, no, you know. this isn't like a like a, like a a game show yeah. or anything like yeah. that. They do that. Yeah. They, they tell come on, yeah, applause. Not in this – and I I agree. Yep. I think it's just that anomaly yep. of that happening yep. right at once. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it is twenty seconds. Second. You heard how long it was. Just listening yeah. to it, you it's long. Listen, I've been seconds. doing comedy for twenty years. I don't think altogether I've had twenty <laughs> seconds of applause. Okay, <laughs> it's coming. It's, it's a second. It's, of, it's second per year. It's second coming. per year. Second per year. It's coming. And while we were getting this. <clears throat> Louie noticed that Norton, when she says, that's another thing. thing. And he goes, eh. Very comical. Very, very comical. He says, very comical. I never heard it's that It's like before. when he says the other time, very attractive. Right. Oh, very, very attractive. attractive. You are very attractive. You are very attractive. You're, yeah. beautiful. You're beautiful. Very attractive. Very, attractive. very comical. comical. Never heard that. You know what it is too, Joe? Because I love the line, save those jokes for the butcher. I love the line. He says that first, right? No, after that. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Save your, jokes, save your jokes for the butcher. Save your jokes for the butcher, right? So I'm always waiting for that line. You're waiting for that line. So I, I just heard, mm, very comical, just now when we were... <laughs> never heard it set before. This up. Never heard it before. Richie, Richie, we do set these things up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like three minutes, but it, we set them up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but it's just absolutely tremendous yeah. that um, they did that for that long, and then... We hear this. Yep. Very comical, mm-hmm. which is a funny little yeah. thing. Very comical. No, very comical. That's kind of his Weisenheimer. Yeah. That's Ralph's Weisenheimer. Oh, yep. uh, you're a big Weisenheimer. Yeah. You're a regular riot. Yeah. That was Ed Norton's. Ed Norton's. Very, comical. very comical. And who knows? That could have been just a. Who knows? It could have been an, you know, it could have been a little snip of an ad lib or whatever. Whatever, yeah. You know. And then Nortonism. Snide room. Snide room. Very snide remark. <laughs> Nortonism. <laughs> Nortonism. So, um,. Question number one this week: What do you guys think? Do you think that was um, that was the reason why the applause? I, I think so. Yeah, I, my opinion. Yeah, I, just I think, think so. them walking out together and the audience not knowing. Absolutely. Yeah, you know. I agree. So we'll see what the people think. Yes, we'll, we'll see, see what people. the people think. See what the people think. Okay, so now we want to get into uh, something. We uh, we got an email from Bibbs. Yeah, brother Bibbs. Brother Bibbs, a full grown nut of the week. Oh, uh, inductee. Uh, yes, and. You know he's 
you know, he's like, you know, you have Ruth, Irish Ruth, yes, and he's Garrick. Yeah, Garrick, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're just they're right yeah. up there, and um, so Bibbs was talking about man's pride, which we're becoming obsessed with, <laughs> with man's, man's pride. pride. By the way, I think next week we are going to have fun with the whole colonnade scene. Yes. Because oh, we got about four different things we want to go love over. It, love and it. And we might just, next week might be all about the colonnade. colonnade. <laughs> but we, because we've been on this man's pride thing. Yeah. And we were talking about what, what, what prompted him to bring that up? Oh, he sent in an email and he said, do you, did you notice that? When uh, they cut to the scene, and uh, right before the bill, or, oh, no, excuse me, right before the coffee, okay, the Demi Tassi goes, Bill Davis, Millie Davis, and Alice are wiping their hands with their napkin, with their with their with their the napkins on the, okay. the, the cloth. What do you call the thing they put on your yeah, the, whatever the, you call that. Yeah, things yeah. that me and you don't use. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that. I use my sleeve. <laughs> here, well, you know what? I can read it here. Oh, read it. Okay. Here's an item. When the colonnade room scene in Pride starts, they're all wiping their hands, except Ralph chose not to, mm -hmm. with his napkin in his tucks, shirt. Yeah, tucked in his shirt. Why were they wiping their hands? I'll tell you in the next email if you can get it. House of Mignana, RX Bibbs. Okay. And then so, he proceeds to tell us. No, I went on. I oh. went. No, I went on and got the episode. I looked at it. Okay. So when I looked at it, and they're wiping their hands, the three of them, on the table, I guess back in the day they did these things, there are finger bowls. And you would dip your fingertips in them and then wipe your hands with your napkin, with your lap napkin, whatever you want to call so it. So it's almost like if you had like those, for like people you're eating wings, now they give you well, the, now, the I mean, well, toilets, yeah. but that it's the same. Um, the same principle. Same the principle. principle. I mean, uh, what they were the eating. same results. It just, yeah, but they, they were just dipping. It was something this they did. A little they warm dipped, water. A little, little warm water. Dip your fingers and then you just wipe them off. And that's what it was. And like, wow, never noticed it. Never noticed never it. Never noticed it. First of all, I never heard of that. The finger bowl. I heard that. of finger bowls, but you had that, heard yes, of finger I bowls. I had heard of okay. finger bowls, but I didn't never witnessed it. <laughs> you know, somebody actually using it because you do see. I think Millie goes back into the bowl and, and dips her fingers again. Does it again? Yeah. So if anybody wants to watch it, it's on YouTube. This, this is an episode that's actually it's on YouTube, on, so everybody okay. can get it. Um, and you'll see. I think I believe Millie goes back and dips her finger again. Okay. Or maybe she just did it at that time. But they're all wiping her hands as the scene opens. Yep. Because um, the table's cleared. They cleared the table. That's right. Because yeah. right now the coffee's coming. Correct. <laughs> black cup of coffee. Black <laughs> I'll have neither. I'll have a small cup of black coffee. But a very interesting little, little yeah, tidbit, of course, it, yeah. from Bibbs. Because he, yeah, he, he, he sees things like that. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. he also made a thing of, as Frank Marth gets up and leaves with that woman. Oh, yeah. Not, not his wife. He's, he's obsessed. <laughs> with, he's obsessed <laughs> with who who uh, Harvey Wallstetter <laughs> is walking out of the colonnade room, room with. Yeah. He is obsessed. <laughs> not uh, his say, wife. Get a hobby, Bibbs. Yeah, yeah. Leave Frank yeah, Marth yeah. alone, Hello, all right? So he's dating a June Taylor dancer. <laughs> Who cares? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that is, uh, and we're gonna get into the colonnade room. We have more things that yeah. Louis got some things about yeah. the bill. The and, bill, yeah. And he, we're gonna discuss yeah. the bill. We're gonna have some fun. Oh, we have with some the fun colonnade, colonnade room. room. Absolutely. Great episode. What a way! Uh, what a way to act, to wrap up thirty nine. Not knowing that they were not knowing that was good wrapping it up. Good wrapping it up but oh my god, you yeah. couldn't get a better well, episode we were, than we were, Man's Pride. We'll talk about that next week about yeah. where where it's in our list. Yes. Now. No, yeah. Definitely. There's a couple things I got to do here. Let's see. I love Monahan in that, Mister Monahan. When he's oh. up in the office, I love Monahan in that. Oh God, he's awful. It's it's so great. He's so bad. It's great. It's great. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So now, since we were talking about Ira, right? Yeah. You know, because we were figured, let's talk we'll more about Ira. Ira. Really? Uh, don't do that. <laughs> Are you sure? Come on, we'll talk a little more about Ira. Uh, don't do that. <laughs> He's only been mentioned like five times during know, the show already. He's going to love it, absolutely. <laughs> oh, he's going to love it. He'll send me an email yeah. cursing me out yeah, and yeah, say, like, thank you, I love you, you guys. said something wrong. <laughs> so, <laughs> he emails me, and he emails us. Yeah. Yeah. But and, Joe, uh, I don't even I don't look at the emails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, it was about the safety award. Yes. And he had a uh, thought, and it's from this. And then I'll tell you what he says. Yes. I wasn't going to mention this, but somebody I heard down at the bus company, somebody said that uh, somebody had an idea of putting a plaque on the front of Ralph's bus saying, you are now driving in the world with the world's safest bus driver, Ralph Cramden. Oh, a plaque like that. 
Ed, you can tell me. Who got the idea? Ralph. By the way, I mean, I love the way he says Ralph. Ralph it's almost as good as, uh, it's actually better than uh, in the uh, downstairs when they're talking about who spread the rumor. Yeah. Ralph Cramden oh, oh, did. I love that. Cramden, Cramden did. did. Yeah. This is on that level. Yeah. It's just Ralph. Oh, it's also, when you think about it, Joe, Alice. And who sits in those two seats? Ralph. Ralph. Yeah. <laughs> Just a great <laughs> one a great line. line. Just a one great word, one word, word line. hilarious line. line. So with that scene, with that with that little exchange, this is what Ira emails us. You are now driving with the world's safest bus driver, unquote. Then, ooh, a plaque like that. That couldn't have been Alice's line in the script, could it? Kind of makes no sense. I, un- I understand what he's saying. Yeah. Like, a plaque like that? That? It's, it's weird, I would guess. You, be, you, you know, Joe, when you think about that, she really doesn't have to say that. Right. She could just go into the line and just say, hey, come on, Ed, you could tell me. Or be like, oh, yeah. really? Oh, really? Come on, Ed, come on, Ed you, you could, could tell, tell me, me who, who, who said, it. said it. Right. But a plaque like, like that, that, it is a yeah. weird yeah. line, and we all know right. Audrey was tremendous, so yep. maybe they, and look, maybe they were just, Hey, listen. Have a, let's write a line for her yeah. to respond that she understands yeah. what he's you saying. Know, it, just to get to the main line of, of course, Glenn, Ed, you could tell me. Yeah, you, you could know, tell me. Yeah. Right. It's, it's the, the setup. Yeah, the setup to that. So and look, this is what we do. But I, was, but I was actually asking a question here. Yeah, he's he's you know he's, he's kind of saying yeah. does that, it, it just doesn't make sense to him. So he's asking basically us to right. Does it make sense to the and I kind of understand what he's saying. Me too. Me you too. know. So I'm thinking maybe we should. Uh, have a segment where Ira always uh no, 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 don't oh, do okay, that. Okay, forget okay, it. Right, forget all right, no, no, idea. no, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Scratch that idea. <laughs> but I, I almost agree with him. Yeah, it's like I said, it's inconsequential. It's yeah. a setup to the setup. It's setup to the setup. It's yeah. a setup to the setup. setup to the Ralph. Yeah, but it doesn't kind of make sense. Ooh, a plaque like, like that. And she didn't even ask. She was like, ooh, a plaque, a plaque like, like that. that. It's kind yeah. of weird. It could have been like, ooh, really? Yeah, because the line is awkward. And I think that's what Ira's getting at. I think it's, that's what it's he's just, getting the at. The line is kind of awkward. Yes. Like I, said, I don't know if did she throw it in there or they just wrote it like that. Yeah. Or, I don't and, know. Wait, like I said, and I'm sure it's they the didn't, set up to the setup. And I'm sure they didn't put that much thought into it. Yeah. Because like they want to get to the right. They want to get to the line. To, they want yeah. to. Oh, come on, to, Ed. To the meat Tell me who's right. Right, right. Exactly. Okay. So I, I'm, I I'm on there. Yeah, he's go. he's been on fire. He's on fire now. He really has. Uh, he has definitely been uh, something of uh, of a beast when it comes to. Uh, <laughs> well, he's. I mean, first he, full grown out of the week. You got it. Yeah, yeah. Those so, are big you shoes. Gotta, you got to live up to this. <laughs> you, you, just, you know, you don't just get it you just, just because, get it. It's because you just listened from the first, first day, day and we're killing us from and day one. From day. <laughs> yeah, and we actually named an episode <laughs> after you were really trashing us. <laughs> We're all good. All comes in a big circle. And Absolutely. All good. Turns okay. out all good. So, before we... <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> isn't that great? I love that. <laughs> no, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> this is... All, Louis came up with the idea. Oh, yeah. Of, don't, don't do that. And we can use it for other things. Well, but, of course. But that thing, that's not dying. It's fantastic. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another good one. Um, so, Louis wanted to come up with a trivia question, right? Yeah, yeah. And... His trivia question was going to be, can you name all the streets that were named in the episode more than once? Yeah, multiple. Yeah, the streets mentioned multiple times. Right. And I'm like, no, I don't want to use that as and trivia. Said, no, I don't want to use that as trivia. I think that would be a great thing for for us to discuss yeah. and then maybe get some of the full-grown nuts and others. Yeah, in case we forget some, because like, yeah. this is off the top of our heads, because it wasn't, you know. So, go ahead, name the streets. Okay. That have been this named more than once. More than once. And Joe, chime in. And when I say a street, just chime in. Tell me where where you where we heard it. Okay. And we'll go back and forth like that. Okay. Chauncey Street, obviously. So we're not going to go. We're right, not going right. to delve into Chauncey Street because it's been mentioned yeah, many yeah. times. Many with the, times. With okay. the maid. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, uh, yeah. and I think. Uh, where, hey, where do you live? 328 Chauncey Street. Street. And yeah, then yeah. The judge, the judge Hurdle. Yeah, right, yeah. right here. 328 Chauncey, Chauncey Street. Street. Yeah, okay. Right. So it's mentioned a zillion times. Of course. Now, Park Avenue. See. Park Ave, you were saying. First of all, uh, how do you think this these this furniture is going to look like in a Park Avenue in a Park apartment. Avenue apartment? Um, and also, Mr. Marshall, Mr. Marshall, Park we're Avenue. Pool on we're Park shooting Park pool on Park, Park Avenue tonight. That's the same episode. Yes, right? that's the same you're right. episode. Yep. Now the other Park Avenue is 
The air-conditioned sewers. Yes, that's true. The air-conditioned sewers. Ca- always catch coal and park Always catch coal and park <laughs> Why? They're air-conditioned. air-conditioned. How about in the um, Ralph Crampton Inc. going to the... Um, oh, where, no. Is that where the... That's where the... Uh, no, that's he, where the that's where the furniture one comes from. To Alice, Alice, he said, "That's where the furniture. Yeah, how this furniture looks in the look park, like Avenue park apartment. In apartment. But that's not because of his raise, or because he thought he was oh, getting he a promotion. Getting, no, he thought he was getting the money. Thought he was getting he the money. Thought he was getting forty million dollars. Okay, yeah. okay, yep. So okay. that's what I thought. <laughs> All, right. All right, go ahead. All right, that's Park Avenue. Park. Now Avenue. we have Kosciuszko Street. Kosciuszko Street. Okay. I'm thinking thirty three Kosciuszko Street. Thirty three Kosciuszko Street. Okay, we got Marvin Karen 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 Gibson. And then we also oh. have the tour of the sewer. The oh, it's tonight. Go Thursday it's Thursday night. 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 It's the right. tour of the, the Kosciuszko Street sewer. <laughs> now, Joe, this goes back to you. What you always say what Carlin said about the K's, mm-hmm. and this is why Kosciuszko Street is funny. It's just a funny word. It's a fun. It's a funny it's a word. Funny word. Kosciuszko Street's a funny word. So. <laughs> <laughs> Because of the K and the Cusco one, you know, the absolutely end, named after General Kosciuszko. <laughs> so that's where you get Cos. So we have multiple Kosciuszkos. Now, we also have Hemrod Street. Yes, and I know two. Okay, that's all I think we have. But name them. Um, Hemrod Street, where the Ralph was, uh, Ed was hurt. Explosion. Explosion. And this is on Hemrod Street. Yes, he was, he was hurt. Yes, yes he, he was. was. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he was. Yes, he was. And, and two is where the Barfelds the live. The Barfelds live. With the address, right? With the address, yep. Do you remember the address itself? Um, 383? I think you're right. 383 Hemrod Apartment Street. 4D. Apartment 4D. Very good. That's a good one. Or is that the other one? Or is that the... Uh, no. No, that's the address. Oh, 465. I think it's 383 Hemrod, and it's, isn't it 465 Van Buren is where Harvey... Because that's where Alice goes. Because she's already been. Oh, she's already, she's already been, been to the bar right, fells, right? Because of the the, the bar, uh, the, the, right. the, the, the and this, the, is, uh, this is basically her second gig, right? Because he's saying, "Oh, she's very good. Very good. She's very, very good." good. <laughs> <laughs> Sid oh, she's very good. She's very good. <laughs> right. <laughs> so there's probably two <laughs> two two Hemrod streets. <laughs> so there's two Hemrod streets. Okay, now here's another good Madison Avenue. See, that's. A, that's interesting because now it, again, he mentions uh, you don't have to when he thinks he's going to get the uh, m- assistant assistant traffic manager. Right, you don't have to go and ha- go travel three b- three miles, hand uh, the note to the the thing yeah. to Matt to, to yeah. you know to Madison Avenue right. or whatever. Well, yeah, um, but there's also and I believe Herb Norris says it when he gets splashed. Well, the other uh, day I was, you know, on the Madison big machine Avenue. and all that. Yeah, Madison was standing, Avenue. The other day I was standing on, on Madison bearing Avenue. Bearing down on me. <laughs> on Madison Avenue. A bus came bearing down on me. Splash me with blah, blah, blah. Was that you? Was that was you? The, you know, great line. Great line. Great line, great line without. Is that you? Now, Ziggy. Yes. Funny money. Funny money. Yes. When he's on the bus. Yep. He goes up to Madison Avenue. But he goes, I think it was the Gotham. But he said, when he's trying to explain to the boss why he left the, the uh, money on the bus. Right. He goes, the cop gets on on 49th Street. And he's looking at me. So he's on Madison and 49th. So now, I does believe he say he said, Madison? I think he says Madison. Now, I'm sure there's other things. Anybody out there knows that Madison was uh, mentioned another time. You would think so, being that Ralph is, you know, he's always talking about his bus driving his route. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You would think it was mentioned yeah. another time. If, you know, any guys out there, just just chime in. Please well, chime in. What about uh, Man's Pride? Doesn't he mention it on, because where, where's your... Uh, you know where where's your uh, office at? So doesn't he mention it, in Man's Pride? No, he no. doesn't. No, Man's Pride. Uh, no, it's not on Madison Avenue. That's his route. Man's Pride. The oh. bus company's on Ninth and Forty Eighth. That's right, Ninth and Forty Eighth Street. So right. those are the other uh, streets that are mentioned only once. Gotcha. DeKalb Avenue, and where, where Dowsers with the vacuum cleaner? Okay, that's DeKalb, Two Hundred and Twenty Fifth Street sewer. That's when he went up for the costume ball. There you go. Okay. Remember, you made the point. He ran all the way from, which isn't even in Brooklyn. <laughs> 220. Yeah. Ran, through, ran through Manhattan. Ran, ran through Manhattan. <laughs> probably part of the Bronx. Staten Island, too. <laughs> he put his mask on. He put his mask like, on. Like there was a pandemic yeah, like, going like, on. 
<laughs> so that's 220. Then we said Van Buren Street. Yep. That's where the Wallsteaders Van live yep. on Van Buren. Ninth Avenue, bus company, 48th Street, the corner mm-hmm. of the bus company, and 49th Street, where Ziggy saw the cop get on the bus. Yeah. So that's the streets. Okay. So just name the five that were used okay, we're multiple. Gonna, all right. We're going to go. Right. Chauncey Street, obviously. We, yep. don't need, we don't need anything on Chauncey Street. We know that. Park Avenue, Kosciuszko Street, Hemrod Street, and Madison Avenue. Madison Avenue is the one... Yeah, we it, think, but we think it was mentioned. Well, maybe, maybe more than twice. It could have been mentioned because it had to be. You know, so we got those five. Those are we five. We want to know if anybody else. Is there any other ones that were mentioned, mentioned more, more than more once. than once? And any other ones that were mentioned? Period. Yeah, another street. If you can come up with some other street, absolutely. You know. I'll put up. I'll put a post yeah, we'll up just, when the episode comes out. Sure. And we just want to hear from just you. Here. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Keeps, just, keeps we're me tr- from doing research. Listen, yeah, exactly. You get <laughs> all this work from us. We want a little work from you. you. Either that okay? or, or drop a buck on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I want to do <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Earn okay. your stripes. Earn your stripes, all you full-grown nuts of the week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really. And some of those that are waiting to be Waiting to be full nuts. That's right. This could be your in <laughs> to being the next full-grown nut of the week. <laughs> just so you guys know, there's there's a, t- a long list of you guys. We just don't have enough we don't, weeks we, in we the year. We're, and we just, always, we're getting to it. And we're only oh. going almost every other week now. Yeah, you know, sometimes we do every other week. Right, right, right. Like that. Yeah, exactly. So it'll come to you. Yeah. Just don't worry. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we're coming up to our uh, final, final bit of the week. And Louie's eighth favorite yes. clip. And uh, here we go. Now, Tom, who is our first guest, please? Uh, Our first guest ready to leap the first hurdle on his way to the $99,000 answer (laughs) is our... Comedian from Mongolia, (laughs) Joe Conti! I want to see the expression on your face when you miss it. Well, good. I want to see him on that road from Mongolia to Tibet. (laughs) Don't do that. No, no, no. Don't do that. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. So we we covered Mongolia and Tibet. We got to come up with something else. Oh, fuck. Okay, now I, I love the fact you give me a different place every And time. again, let me tell you something. We, we are notorious. Oh, we all, everybody knows we're notorious for not preparing anything. Yeah, well, uh, you, can even, tell, even, you can tell what can we tell, prepare even, or not. Even outside you what, what Richie the Mole said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't prepare. And here's another thing we don't do. We don't write things down that we've used. So sometimes we don't know sometimes what we we've forget. used. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. The only, you know what we started doing today? Uh, guys, I'm going to tell you guys something. We just today wrote down. We just, we never wrote down who we had as full <laughs> grown out of the week. week. We just went through them, and, and I'm like, oh, dude, which who do we who did we use it? So we don't we want to give so, somebody twice. Yeah, I mean, so we have to take ten minutes and go through it and try to figure it out. We may have forgotten somebody, so I but now I'm going to continue to write on my, a little piece of paper here, yeah. in my top hand dress pan draw. And uh, keep that. Yeah, but so I that just gives you. Yeah, I don't write down these places where Joe's from. So I don't know. I mean, we may be re- we may be revisiting another place. One of these days, like maybe we, we could do a revisiting yeah, about re- the revisiting. revisiting, revisiting. We hawk in New Jersey. Right. Joe appearing again, and we hawk in New Jersey. <laughs> All right. All right. So this was prepared by Professor Walter Newman. Yes, it is, Professor. Your bottle of cherry sriracha is on its way. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> That's how he gets paid. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. My favorite character, Joe, is one of my favorite characters. Oh, Mister Mister, um, uh, 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 <laughs> um, it's um, <laughs> oh my god, it's, I'm on uh, a very strict diet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mister uh, Marshall, Mister Marshall, of course, one of my favorite. What I was doing, I was like, uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, uh, Mister Marshall, Marshall. I'm sorry, sir, I couldn't. All right, sorry, all sorry, right. I blew your thing. That's because we don't prepare. Yeah, so, exactly. <laughs> If we prepared, I would have let him go, and it would have been funny. <laughs> but I blew that. All right. So here's the question. What's Mr. Marshall's secretary's name? I have a question. Yeah. Is it Mr. Marshall um, who... Oh, wait. The, not the, the one that was Mr. Marshall most of the time. Yeah. The, not the, the, not the, the guy who played Marshall once. No, Mr. Marshall. He played. Yeah, 
he, yeah, pool, he played the other guy. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Him. That Mr. Marshall. Not the other Marshall who was just Marshall once. No. This is Mar- Marshall Pool, Marshall Dog Food. Gotcha. Mr. Marshall. Okay. The one I always quote. <laughs> Mr. Marshall. His secretary. Uh, I know it's not it. I feel it's a one-syllable name, but uh, like Claire or something, but it's not Claire. No. Um, can okay. you give me the first? It's a, it's a miss. It's a last name. Miss Evans? Got it. Is it Miss Evans? Miss Evans. Oh, okay, Ms. cool. Miss Evans, Mr. Peck. That's Mr. Tebbets, too. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Here's my 20-second applause. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's weird. All right. Well, uh, all right. I was actually kind of proud of myself. I didn't do too bad on that one. No, not too bad. All right. So how are we going to do this here? We're going to start off and finish up with um, who can we thank? All right. First, we got to thank Silk City Hot Sauce, okay? And uh, don't forget to go to SilkCityHotSauce.com. Put yourself, uh, get yourself some great, phenomenal hot sauce and soon to be the honey habanero, honey habanero. with our honeymooners uh logo on there yep. i think he's actually going to have a honeymooners podcast thing on this okay, side that'd be great it's going to oh, be awesome beautiful um and uh don't forget go there and get yourself some great hot sauce and uh put rx in the coupon code and get yourself 15 percent percentage off of your order and you get a free bottle of uh, 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 uh Jerry Sriracha. I'm sorry, sir. I couldn't think of the word. I can't believe I snuck in I three really, of those today. Oh, God. It's such worth a it. weasel. That's, that's <laughs> such a weasel. <laughs> worth everyone. Worth everyone. And uh, who else can we thank? All of you guys who listen, all you full grown nuts, our full grown nut of the week this week, Michael Bruce. Michael Bruce. Uh, all of you guys who email. Ira, we have to thank Ira, Ira for today. Yep. Bibs, Bibs for today. Contributing. Good, uh, good, good and these guys are yeah. all, you know, they're all regulars. And, and, and all of you guys, we, we uh, appreciate all of you. And share with your friends on social media some of our either clips from the YouTube page. And subscribe to our YouTube page, yeah. too. Come it's got my else. comedy on there, but it's got yeah. a bunch of our uh, videos on there. And we also want to thank the Facebook group, the Honeymooners Raccoon Lodge, with yep. Joy and Brother and Norton. Norton. And uh, also, go to... Uh, Etsy.com and put in the Honeymooner store yeah. and Brother Norton's got a couple of things on there. He's yeah, still selling, he's still selling some them. mugs. I use that mug oh, every mug. Saturday morning. Oh. Every Saturday morning. Great mug. My, uh, yeah, it's a great mug. Yeah. You have yours. A um, uh, uh, little strong but good. <laughs> strong but good. And uh, that's something else on the other side, I think. Yeah, I forget. My mind's all about the uh, the Crant Marshall's, uh, uh, you know, the uh, the the... Food, you know, oh, okay. the, yeah, uh, yeah, the uh, Cran- 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 Mars, Cran- delicious, delicious, delicious mystery yeah, appetizer. Mine's, yeah, mine's a yep. little strong, He's a little strong, but, but good. good. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> what else? And if you want to check out my one hour comedy album called Happiness, you can download it anywhere you get your music or comedy. And if you want to support us, you can go to Patreon, you just go to any of our episodes on our website and scroll to the bottom, and you can get uh, you can donate a couple dollars, you know, yeah. you could just uh, yeah, help. Of course, I can put you down for the usual buck. Huh? And now Great. you full grown nuts, part of the requirements, you have to give us a hundred dollars. And uh, yeah, and that's, that's how it works. You see people sending back their certificates. <laughs> Yeah, it, was, it was fun while it lasted, but I don't think <laughs> yeah. so. We're going to see a certificate folded yeah, like a paper, paper airplane, airplane flying into our studio. Well, paper aeroplane. <laughs> paper oh. aeroplane. Oh, well, that's not how you make a paper aeroplane. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, listen, uh, that's it. Our episode 96 Six. in the books for me and Lou. We say we'll see you next time. Eploribus raccoonum. Night all. Bye, Mr. Crandon. I'll be seeing you. I'll be seeing you. Irving Kale and Sammy Fain, 1938. Oh, Mr. Crandon, it's all over now. It's all over now. Bassie Simon, 1927. (laughs) No, no, good night, Mr. Crandon. Good Good night, night. good night. There were two songs, good night. It was Good Night, Irene, written by Lomax and Ledbetter. Good Night, Sweetheart, written by Rudy Valley and Ray Noble. (laughs) Rx. This has been a non-productive media presentation. 
Executive producer, Frank Hablaoui. This program and many others like it on the Non-Productive Network is distributed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives License. Please share it, but ask before trying to change it or sell it. For more information, visit non-productive.com.